Oh Lord, how we love you. We thank you. Lord, we thank you because we know you. And we recognize that it's good to know you. There are benefits to knowing you. Salvation, that's a benefit. Yeah. Sanctification, that's a benefit. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately, glorification, yeah. that's a benefit. Yeah. Lord, we we know you for ourselves. Yeah. Master, it comes this time right now. We want to get to know you better. So we ask that you speak to us through your word. But we pray that you just open our minds and our hearts to receive what you have for us this day. <coughs> Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in your sight. For Lord, you are my strength and my redeemer. Amen. 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 You know, uh, y'all want to pray for me because I was sharing with my wife that we were coming over here this morning, and my vision is just getting bad. You know. I think it's about time to go with glasses full time mm. instead of part time. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It's that time, you know. I, I can't use one of those small Bibles with the little words in it. I can't see that, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it's going to be all right. In your Bibles, in the book of Hebrews, 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 not Hebrews, Hebrews, <laughs> Hebrews, that's how you know a man should make coffee for his wife. The Bible says Hebrews, right? So, so, so not Hebrews, Hebrews, that was, that was bad, wasn't it? That was, that was bad. But you're going to use it, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you to use it later. When you find the book of Hebrews, um, chapter 11. Hey, Sister Smith, how you doing? Been keeping you in prayer. We've been praying for you. It's good to see you back. Uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 11. Uh, when you find it, stand to your feet because it's going to be quick. It's going it's to be real quick, y'all. Hebrews chapter 11. So stretch, it. stretch yourself real quick. There you go. Stretch it out. Make, make it work. You know, wake yourself up. Knock that sleep off you. You know. If you were up too late last night, or you didn't come in until this morning, how do you look at it? Amen. Uh, Hebrews chapter 11, um, verse 3. Verse 3a is what I'm going to read. All right? You find it? Yes. My Bible says, by faith. That's enough. Yeah, yeah. By faith. Yeah. I will attack this message by faith. Amen. Amen. We're just going to talk about by faith. By, by, by faith. I need you to make me a, a promise that you want to, to, to stay alert and we're just going to just look at this by faith thing. We'll use other scriptures to, for support, but we want to do a study together about faith about faith uh, because I believe I believe God's word I believe God's word I don't understand it all sometimes but I believe it all uh, it's, it's always amazing to me Bill how as I live and I, and I go through different circumstances in my life and I'm faced with, with uh, various difficulties how true and how real God's Amen. word becomes Amen. to me it, I mean it, 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 it's real and it's, it's, uh, it's accurate you know, the thing is, sometimes I just have to experience it before I can really understand yeah. it. But, but, but this whole faith thing, I want to talk to y'all about uh, in a different way. Um, faith, by faith, by faith. Um, many of you know, many of you know that 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 Charlene and I, uh, one of our favorite pastimes is traveling. We like trips. We like to get away whenever we can. Um, Get away and just just have some 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 alone time with each other. So so we will we will um, go quick trips, various quick trips. 
would get out and would normally be back here for Sunday for sure. So we may leave after Bible study and then make sure we're back here for Sunday morning. That's just what we enjoy doing. Uh, and then every now and then we'll take a more lengthy trip. And it causes us to be out on a Sunday. But I think that's all right. Amen. Amen. Yes, amen. 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 I think that's all right. Uh, uh, it was a, uh, Charlene will have to co uh, correct me and fill the blanks where I'm wrong. Uh, I think it was uh, last year we went on what, we, what I, they call the Baltic Sea Cruise. The Baltic Sea Cruise. And we had to fly over to Sweden. Is that right, baby? Can stop me when I get wrong. We had to fly to Sweden to, um, to catch the, the cruise ship out of Sweden, you know. I couldn't understand how come we couldn't just go over to Galveston, but you know, we got to fly 8, 10, nine, 12 hours to catch a, a ship, and it's a perfectly good ship right here in Galveston, but, but that, that's beside the point, that's beside the point. Yeah, uh, uh, we went on the Baltic Sea Cruise, and we flew over to Sweden, and it took us over to uh, St. Petersburg, Russia, it was uh, one of our stops, I believe. Oh, okay, well, yeah, we went to Russia. I don't know what's up, Russia. You know, <laughs> amen. And we went to Russia, and then, and then we, uh, we made a stop. Now, when, when we travel like this, uh, and we take cruises or, or whatever, you know, you know, I can go there and I can stay on the ship the whole time. <laughs> Talk back to me, brother. You know, well, we, we don't really need to get off the ship, do we? I mean, can't, can't we just you know, go outside the ship on, on the deck and, you know, the Lido deck off, you know, and, 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 and just look out there? I don't really need to. And the reality of it is they could, they could take the ship, you know, to take it in a circle, park it at night, and wake me up the next morning. I wouldn't know the difference, you know. Uh, you know they tell me I'm someplace else. That's fine. But, but my wife, she likes to do more exploring. She likes to get off the ship, you know, and, and, and matter of fact, there's always going to be that moment of irritation uh, on her part when, when the question is raised, so what are we going to do today? <laughs> you know, yeah, on day one, I wasn't feeling well. Uh, on day two, you know, my head is a little lightheaded, so I can't get off today. You know, at some point, you know, I'm going to be forced to get off that ship. So, so we, uh, we, 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 uh, we, we're there and we, we got off the ship. And, and, and so when we get off the ship, I have two responsibilities. I'm, I respons I'm responsible for holding all bags. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and I'm also responsible for not complaining the entire time. <laughs> you know, so we're, so we're, we're there in, uh, uh, in, in Russia. I can't remember the exact place we were. Um, and Charlene uh, likes to buy uh, Christmas ornaments. We're gonna have a Christmas ornament from wherever we go. So our tree is decorated with the various places that we have. We then she collects the Christmas ornaments. Um, yeah, you know, can't we just write the name on another ornament and say, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I'm complaining, don't it? <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble when I get home. But it's okay, listen, so, so, so listen, brothers and sisters, let me, let, let me, let me go on. So, so we're there, and, and we're traveling, and, and, and the day had gotten kind of long, and, and hunger started to sit in on me. And, and, and so, you know, and I was ready to eat something, and uh, however, when I'm in a foreign country, I don't eat everybody's food. Right, 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 right. Ain't no good vacation spent in the, uh, so, so I, uh, and so, so, uh, so when I'm off that ship, I do not eat other people's food. If I leave a resort, I'm not eating any. I'll eat here at the resort or I'll eat on the ship, but I'm not just going to go to the marketplace and mm -mm. <laughs> Noble Charlene allow me to do that, you know, because uh, she doesn't need another excuse for me not to get off the ship the next stop. <laughs> so, 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 so we don't, so we, we make a point not to do that. And, and so I was getting hungry, and so I went into this convenience store. I went to this convenience store, uh, and I was looking around trying to find something I could just, you know, and I recognize a Snickers bar. You know, it satisfies you. you know what I mean? Some of y'all catch that later on. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, 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 you're not yourself until you had a Snickers. Okay, but uh, but uh, but anyway, listen, listen. So I I I I, I see the Snickers bar and and, uh, and all right, I'm trying, y'all. Okay, listen, my 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 daughter's on me already. Yes. So, 
So I see the Snickers bar, and I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and get a Snickers bar, and that will hold me until we get back to the ship, so I don't have to complain, I can carry the Christmas ornaments, and we good. And so, so uh, Shirley and I walked into the store, and, and I grabbed the Snickers bar, and I put it on the counter, and, uh, and I asked how much it was, and he said something, I didn't understand what he said, so I went into my pocket, and I pulled out some money, and I gave it to him, and he looked at me, and he says, we don't take that. We don't take American currency. We, I said, then I had some other coins from another stop. I said, do you take it? <laughs> at this point, at this point, this is not a good sight, you know. I'm like, man, the Snickers bar is right there. <laughs> so, Cam, I'm hungry. I want the Snickers bar. It's right there. But I can't pay for it. My brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters, faith is heaven's currency. There are some things that, that, that are there that you want. And God wants to, to give it to you. However, he's asking you to pay for it by, by faith. Yeah, yeah. However, 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 because you don't have the faith, you cannot make the purchase that God wants to give you. Yeah, yeah. Now listen. Now let, 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 let me walk through this thing and just, just try to help us. And, you know, because when we talk about faith, uh, there are various levels of faith. Uh, you know, there, there's the, the, the no faith. You know, that, that, that's those who are lost. Then you have what we call saving faith. Saving faith, that's the faith that, 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 that assures you're going to heaven and that's about it. If you accept Christ as your savior, uh, and it assures you're going to heaven and that's about it. Then you have little faith. That's when, little faith is when you have a misunderstanding, a misunderstanding of your faith. And that little faith, uh, had you in positions where you spend more time questioning if it's going to happen. Lord, you're going to catch me, right? You promise, Lord. I mean, you spend more time just questioning God about what he's going to do next in your life. That's little faith. Then, 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 then you work your way up to what we call serving faith. Or, uh, that, that type of faith where, where you're committed to him no matter what. And that's the kind of faith God's talking about here, he says in Hebrews, by faith. Yeah. By faith. <laughs> Let's do a quick look at the text and, and, and we'll start, of course, in verse 1 of chapter 11. Verse 1 of chapter 11 is a familiar passage of scripture. If you've been in a church any time, you've heard, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. <clears throat> by for by it the elders obtain a good report. Let's go. The first thing that, that that's often stated about faith from this text, um, Hebrews, uh, the, the faith chapter, that's been stated that's incorrectly is this is not a definition of faith. Faith is the substance of things hopeful. That is not a definition of faith. That's not a definition of faith. It's actually sharing with us how faith works. Yeah, yeah. More so being a definition of faith. Now, 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 now faith is stepping out on nothing and knowing that you're going to land on something. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 When you step out on nothing, when you step out there, when you trust God, knowing that the door will be open. When you step out on faith that trust that he's going to take care of you. He's going to provide of your, of your every need. That's what faith is. Now this text says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So faith really is the foundation. Yeah. It's the foundation. He says, now, now faith is the foundational piece for the things that I hope for. It's, it's the very foundation. So my faith becomes a foundation for everything else in my life. Yeah, amen. 
Yeah. I mean, you know, the, so, so, so if we're talking about a marriage, your faith becomes the foundational yeah. piece of your marriage. So, so, so my marriage is built on faith. You know, faith in God, trust in God. So when I have faith in God, I do things as he says in his word for me to do. Yeah. Faith is the foundational piece. It's the, it's the foundational piece. Now listen, if faith is not at the foundational piece of anything in a believer's life, it's a good chance it's going to crumble. All right. All right. If faith is not the foundational piece of, of your finances, your finances will crumble. All right. All right. I'm trying to help somebody. If, 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 if you don't believe me, you know, all you have to do is just live just a little while. If you, and listen, if you don't have too much faith, if you have too much faith in that job, I'll get it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, but but you know I hear about folks. Check the how many people in here by a uh, show of hands have ever been laid off on the job? That's a lot of hands going up in here because the, the reality of it is, listen, you cannot put your faith in that. Come on, that's right. Come on. Faith is a substance of things hoped for. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a foundational piece of what I hope to happen. Now listen, listen, listen. So what happens is, and it, and it shows evidence. Of things not seen. I'm gonna go real quick on this, real quick. So, so this foundational piece, this faith that I have, becomes my foundation to what I hope for. So, so, I, so I have this hope. Now, this hope can also be used interchangeably as expectation. So, so my faith is a foundational piece to my expectations. So, the lower my faith the lower my expectations. The higher my faith, the higher my expectations. So my ex expectations cannot exceed my foundation. All right. All right. Am, 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 I, am I digging real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you just to work with me on this thing. So my, my faith is a foundation to my expectations. Yes. Amen. It's evidence of things not seen. Now listen. So, so, so my faith is the foundation of what I expect to see. Because my eyes physically can't see it, but I can see it through my faith. Well, now, 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 listen, listen. See, now, now here, 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 here comes the dilemma. Because the reality of it is that because I can't see it, I can't be it. Come on. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I can never be that which I cannot see. You know, yeah, I, I, I was talking to somebody this past weekend, and, 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 and they said that um, one of the reasons why they voted for President Obama uh, was because he was black. Okay, that's a good. That, that, that's okay. That's okay. I hope nobody's offended by that because because they said because now I can tell my kids. With a, a, a certain degree of certainty that that you can be president, All right. because until we have seen it, and so my faith creates my eyes when I can't see, it. because I cannot be that which I cannot see. Listen, listen, listen. If you cannot see yourself in a good financial situation, you will not be. Come on, come on. Down to Lord. If you cannot see yourself driving, you better get used to walking. If you cannot see yourself in a God honoring marriage, you better get used to arguing. All right, all right. And, and am I trying to help somebody? Because it, 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 it's, it's the foundational piece. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. That, 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 that's, why, that's why whenever you see the text about faith, you'll start seeing words like see, seen. Because it's trying to tell you that, that your faith is trying to paint a picture. It needs to paint a picture for you. Um, um, I often share with the illustration that, that whenever you see a puzzle or you buy a puzzle, no matter how many pieces it is, they always have a picture of the puzzle on the box. Yes. <laughs> and, the, and, and the puzzle, see, when I see the, the picture on the box, then it's easier for me to put the puzzle together. Yes. And see, what happens is I really can't see how the puzzle goes together if I don't see a picture. Oh. Now, now, listen. Script, but, but, but turn to see what happens is when my faith has this picture, then I then then I understand when things are happening in my life, where are they going? Yeah. See, see, without the faith, I don't understand it. 
And so I see like I'm, I feel like I'm in the dark. I said, oh, God is up to something here. And what he's doing is trying to bring that, that, that picture of faith to pass. Amen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not, not seen. Yeah. Now listen, yeah, yeah. Dig a little more. So, so, if the faith, my faith is a foundational piece, then the question then is, of course, you know, how do I build up my faith? And we know that the answer to that one. Go to Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10, verse 14. This is what Paul tells the church of Rome. You ready? I don't want you fast. Romans, Romans chapter 10, verse 14. How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? You see that? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they be sent as it is written? And go down to, uh, to verse 17. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Listen, 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 listen. My faith will not increase without me hearing the word of God. Bottom line, bottom line. You know, listen, if, if, my, if I want to increase my faith, if I, want to, if I want to increase my foundation, I am going to have to get some word of God in me. And listen, as a preacher, as a preacher, Bill, it is your responsibility to get the word of God to their ears, their hearing. But it's God's responsibility to get it to their heart. Listen, listen, listen. So, 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 if I want to increase my faith, let me tell you, it's not going to happen any other way than by the Word of God. Now, He will use other ways to validate it, but it's going to be increased through the Word of God. You know, so, so you cannot increase your faith. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Let me be clear on this. It will not happen void of the word of God. I, mean, I can't say that loud enough. It's just not going to happen. Listen, listen. It's not going to happen. So you're sitting around saying, listen, Lord, I, I, I want this and, and I need this. But you are struggling with your faith to believe in for it. And the reason why you're struggling with your faith to believe in for it, because you're not getting any word in you. It is not okay to be bitterly ignorant. Amen. I, 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 know, I know that we were, we were raised, in, and some of us were raised in churches where, you know, as long as I shouted and, and, and you know, and, and ran around the church a few times and you know, had tears in my eyes, those are feelings. Yes, Come on. And I can appreciate feelings. Come on. But the fact still remains, you need to have some word in you. Yes, I mean, you need I mean, you, 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 you need to have some word in you. you, know, you know. Not only do you need to have some word in you, you need to have somebody who's going to tell you the truth. Amen. That you're, they're going to love you where you are, but tell you the truth. Hey, listen, listen. I understand where you are, uh, but let me go and tell you that sin. Amen. Yeah. That's right. I mean, it, it hurts because you know, cause, cause we all look in the mirror. So, so as, as a preacher, I have to say, that sin, got to call it for what it is. Amen. You got to have somebody, as Timothy, uh, Paul uh, told Timothy, you got to have somebody who's going to rightly. Yes, sir. Divide the word of truth. Yes, Rightly divide the word of truth. Say amen if you can. Amen. 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 Listen, 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 listen. So, so all this feel-good ministry, you know, uh, name it and claim it, you know, I can appreciate some of that, but let me tell you something. You can jump as high as you want to jump, but if you don't have that word in you, you don't have somebody who's rightly dividing the word of truth, if you're not spending time studying yourself, yeah. Amen. Mm. Mm, yeah. I'm telling you, Doc, you, 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 you didn't get that, 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 that word in you. You didn't get that word in you. You, know, you didn't get that word. Are you spending time in God's word? Yeah, yeah. Is church an inconvenience for you? Is Bible study an inconvenience for you? Yeah. You know, you know, it's quiet time. You know, you know, listen, you know, I would get up, but... You know, it's just, you know, I got to get up. That means I got to get up five minutes earlier if I'm going to get my quiet time. 
when the foundation has been laid, when you start putting the framework up, you know. Yeah. You know what it's going to be. Yeah. See, the problem is it takes the word to put the framework up. Yeah. And because we're not putting any word on it, the framework is not. Oh, I, I, I wish somebody would just give me one. The, because the framework is not going up, then we start being lost and we say, like, you're walking in the dark. Lord, I can't see where I'm going. Well, put some framework up. Amen. See, because the word says that by faith, we understand the words were framed by the word of God. And faith becomes the great equalizer. I want to share this with you real quick. Faith becomes a great equalizer. Go to Romans chapter 12. I'm going to skip verse 1 and 2. I'm going to come down to verse 3. I want you to see something. Because there is this, this belief that, that, that I hear people say, you know, ooh, I wish I had your faith. I wish I had your faith. I wish I had your faith. Uh -huh. I wish I had your faith. Ooh, if I just had the faith, oh man, man, you got some faith on you. Really? I wish I had that kind of. Go to Romans chapter 12, verse 3. For I say, are y'all there? For I say, through the grace given to me, to everyone who's among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to. We could just stop right there, Amen. really. You know. Uh, ought to think, but think, but to think soberly, as God has dealt to each one of a measure of what? So evidently, the indication is that God has placed some faith in each one of us. Each one of us has a measure of faith. Now, 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 now the question is, what are you doing with your measure of faith? So, 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 so the first thing that, that pops out in that scripture is that 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 proper thinking must take place. Because it says, to everyone who among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. So, so part of this, this dilemma is, is my thought process. Yeah, yeah. That's right. My thought process. I cannot have the mentality of a slave and then think I'm going to prosper as a free person. Come on. Uh -huh. That's right. <laughs> listen, listen. Proverbs 23, 7, you know, for as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So, so the, the indication here is, in the scripture is that my thinking has been conditioned. And, and then I have the ability to condition the way I think. Yeah, yeah. Not only that life will condition you on a way to think. All right. uh -huh. <clears throat> life will condition my thought process. And how I think will then shape my attitude and my mentality. All right. I see. Uh, I've always been amazed. Um, uh, when, the, when the kids were little, we used to take them to the, uh, the soul circus. You know, yeah, 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 so, 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 we got, we, we got the, the elephant out there, and, and what, I'm always amazed because I used to like, when you go to the back of it, because you ride in the parking lot, the elephant is, is out there, and they got him tied up, like with a rope around his, his, his foot, and one around like a little chair. Oh, yeah. Come on. I'm like, couldn't that elephant really get away? I mean, I'm not comfortable with this. But what you must understand is that when that elephant was a baby, yeah, yeah. they tied his leg with a rope and put it around something that he could not get away from. Uh -huh. wow. And so he was conditioned to believe that he can't get away once the rope. Yeah. 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 
So now all they got to do is just tie the rope around his leg and tie it around anything and he'll just stay there. Because his conditioning of his mind. The reality of it is your mind has been conditioned to be a slave and that you can't get away. And all life has to do is just tie a small rope. So, 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 so the text is telling the teachers that, that you, know, you really got to look at how you think, how you process information. So, so don't think too high of yourself, but you ought to think. You ought to think sober of yourself. Yeah. Think so. Now, 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 we see the, the, the word sober, you know, the best definition of sober is not drunk. All right. And when we think of being drunk, that means that you have outside influences, right. you know, dictating how you think. All right. Hmm. Come on. Come on. So, so I know that I'm drunk when I allow outside influence dictate how I ought to think. All right. All right. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. When, 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 when I let television dictate how I think. How I should look. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, 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 so the text is trying to teach us something here. Listen, you got to think sober of yourself. Listen, in, in this case, and I can't even afford to be buzzy. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you're not all in, yeah, yeah. but you, come on, y'all. I, mean, I know y'all sanctified and saved, you know, but, but you're really, some of you have a fool of the vine, you know, and, 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 you, know, and you, you, you know when you cross the line from, from buzzing to just toe up, you know, but, 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 but you, 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 you know, you got that little buzz working, you know. <laughs> so, 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 the, the, the text is trying to teach us in this situation, I can't even afford the buzz. That, that, that means that you, you start making statements like, you know, you know, if it feels good to you, it's okay. Come on, Lord. You know, you know. I don't care what you believe, just believe something. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. You need to think sober about what the Word of God says. So, 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 so. So, and, 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 and listen. So, when I think sober, not too high of myself, then I start to activate my faith. And my faith is not activated until it is demonstrated. <laughs> My faith is not activated until it is demonstrated. Hmm. That may be enough. We're called to walk by faith and not by, by sight. By faith. By faith. My brothers and sisters, the whole point of this message for you today is is are you going to live by faith? Are you going to trust God? Not faith in your job, not faith in your spouse. Are you going to have faith in God? Are you going to trust God? That's the whole point. Yes, yes. Or are you going to strengthen your faith? Let me tell you. Uh, uh, I promised myself uh, for New Year's was that um, that at least for 30 days I was not going to eat any sweets. I had any candy, cookies, cake, ice cream. Oh, 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 and, and so I have not done any of those things. It, 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 it's been a struggle, especially the first two weeks or so. And then, and then Don, I said, I said, and then I'm gonna make it a point to go to the gym more often and work out. And so I've been doing that. Um, and and, and you know, what I what I'll do is, you know, when I'm just sitting around the house and I got a little time, I said, well, you know, I'm gonna go to the gym and give me a quick workout. Get a quick workout. Uh, or I'm, I'm gonna get down on the floor. I'm gonna do some sit-ups and, and and what I've been working on. I've been doing these planks. Y'all know what planks up? Yeah. Oh Lord! Ooh. I mean, the first time I did those planks, you know, about ten seconds in, my arms were like spaghetti, and you know, <laughs> it was not a good look. You know, I had to do those in private until I worked my way up. You know, to, 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 
<laughs> for those of you who know what planks are, like, it's like it's like it's, it's like when you see a young girl and she puts on heels for the first time. You know, and, and, and she, she want to wear high heels. And, you know, and she can't walk in them just yet. You know, they say like a baby giraffe. You know, that the legs. You know, like, you know. So, so that, that's kind of that's kind of what's happening. But but so what I would say is that Brooks that that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give me a quick workout. And then I found that that now, you know, my strength has increased. Amen. You know, when I started out, my planks were just 10 seconds, got up to a minute. Now I can get to three minutes on it. God has given us all the same measure of faith. Yes, sir. But it is your responsibility to strengthen your muscles. Yes, sir. And you strengthen them by working out. Yes, sir. So let me share you with you how you do it. You want to increase your faith so you can have the currency to buy faith, buy some things that, that heaven wants to offer you. Yes. So all you have to do is say, okay, listen, when you sit around the house and you're not doing anything, you're being to turn on the TV and say, listen, you know what? I'm going to give me a quick workout. I'm going to pick up the word of God. Yeah. 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 Just give me a, just going to read a little bit. Rather than turn on Magic 102, say, I'm going to turn on some gospel music and give me a quick workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, listen, so, so when, when, folk, when, when folk that say, so where are you getting ready to go? I'm going to the church, the Bible study, I'm going to give me a, a workout. Yeah. <laughs> because as, as you get your workout, you'll find that your, your faith muscles will increase. Yeah, yeah. The thing, things when people tell you, yeah, that, 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 when, when the doctor gives you a report, you look at it totally different. Yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying, but 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 I've heard from another doctor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my faith tells me that he's able to supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. You, you, because my faith muscles have been working. But it's, if your faith muscles have, you know, every time the wind blows, you fall out. Yeah, yeah. Now, Tell me you just got laid off and, and you falling out, that's because you haven't been working out. But when you work out your faith muscles and they lay you off, you say, Thank you, Lord. I know you're about to open up another door. And, 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 and when you open that door, it's gonna be wide, it's gonna be better than the last one. So I thank you for the opportunity because the Bible says, Give thanks in all things. So, so what I want to do is I want to thank you for last night's lying down. I want to thank you for this morning. I want to thank you for shelter.
for all that he's done for me. My soul to some gets up in me. My soul begins just to cry out. Thank you.